we're now on our way to get vaccinated. And by we, I mean me. I'm a little nervous, but overall excited. Hello everyone, we just got to Miami airport. We are waiting for Lizzie and Andres to come and pick us up. They should be here any second now. We have no signal, so we cannot talk to them and find out where they are, but hopefully they're close by. How do you feel? Feel good, it's a little warm. I feel like I always give weather updates on these videos. <laughs> hey, look at Rich. <gasps> they're here! No. We're reunited! Yay! The road trip is about so to begin! Fun. Oh my god. Okay, six hours on the road. Well, we have to get you back today first. True. Fun times. Wow, guys. Nick and I were having an argument about what size car you had. Oh, and I was like, I'm pretty sure they have like a big car. And he's like, no, I don't think so. Why would we not have a big car? I don't know. Oh, your car is so nice. Look. It's name is Nutty. I told you it had a name. That's rad. Woo. Yeah. That's rad, baby. Let's ride. We got some water. Let's get vaccinated. Huh? Yeah. Let's we get vaccinated. To... Woo. Road trip. Road trip. Road trip. Let's get vaccinated. Oh We're now on our way to get vaccinated. And by we, I mean me. I'm a little nervous, but overall excited. Yes. Not me though, just her. Just me. We only do a Pfizer, right? Now from? Yes. Thank you so much. No problem. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye. I'm not getting <laughs> friendly. So friendly. We just went to our first vaccination spot and they don't do Johnson & Johnson. So now, on to the next vaccine spot. The woman was so friendly. <gasps> Did you say Aventura Mall? Yes, yeah. Okay. Okay, in the mall itself. Oh, it's Aventura Mall. Um, the location is the mall. Um, I don't no, that's it. Thank you. Bye. So we are pulling up at the Aventura Mall, about to go and try our second spot for the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Nick is feeling very hungry and tired, so Nick and Andres are gonna go and try to find us all some food that we can eat in the car, much to Lizzie and Andres' dismay. And Lizzie and I are gonna go and see if we can get vaccinated. That way, Andres has a phone, Liz has a phone, we can communicate and think of these things. Think of everything. We just stopped and got Burger King, and now we're eating, and it is just what our souls needed. One of the most well-known ghost stories in Savannah is the story of Alice Riley. Ooh. Believed to have been hanged in Wright Square for murder, Alice Riley was the first woman sentenced to death in Savannah. Death. Oh God, there's a lot of disease in Savannah as well, apparently. Disease? Yeah. But like to read about the story of Savannah, like how, like, like how it's dark. All right, so let me let me give you a little run. We can find a podcast. Ooh, let's do that. Ooh, should we listen to a podcast? Yeah, like a podcast about Savannah. Okay. What a great idea! Whose idea was that? I'd say it was mine. Who haunted history of Savannah? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Got the actual in this hemisphere of belief. <laughs> We have five and a half hours. <laughs> put it on 1.2 and we'll be bored in our work. Looking for a replacement for Boston. And they started with the Carolinas. <laughs>
Wednesday here in Savannah, we are with Alex, we are with Andres, we are with Nick, and we have the journey from hell to get here. But today, Alex, what's on the agenda for today? I'm feeling sick. Oh, but that's not on the agenda, that's just a, a byproduct. I'm, I'm feeling sick because I got the vaccine yesterday. That's why I told Lizzie today she has to take over this. So let's talk a little bit about our journey yesterday. So Alex landed. Yeah, because we didn't even update them when we got home. Alex landed from Trinidad. We went to get the vaccine. First place didn't have it. Second place did have it, but it was a lot. It was took a long time to get. We wasted a lot of time basically trying to find the vaccine, the right vaccine, because the first place didn't have Johnson and Johnson. And I needed Johnson and Johnson for one dose. Yeah. And then by the time we left Miami, it was around 3:30 which is about two hours after what we'd originally planned to leave Miami from. But we drove. The trip was about eight hours, and it was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. Like, we were maybe 15 minutes out of Savannah, and all of a sudden we were in, like, back-to-back -back traffic. Not what you want. But the good news is we got to Savannah. Our Airbnb is very nice. Yeah. Thanks, Nicholas Huggins, for planning that. And now we're on our way to get brunch. Anything to add? Alex is here in her boot looking fly. to go to brunch at a place called Collins Quarter. So we're right now on the corner of Forsyth Park in Savannah. So if you look over there, you'll see the park. We just sat down for brunch here in, what's it called? Collins Quarter. Ooh, our first Savannah brunch. Okay, so we've just booked a one hour private horse drawn carriage tour of Savannah, and I am so excited. A horse drawn carriage tour? You didn't know it's horse drawn? No! Yeah, horse drawn carriage tour. It's happening. How do you feel about being on a horse drawn so, carriage tour? I like horses. How do you feel about being on a horse drawn carriage tour? <laughs> I feel excited about the horse drawn carriage tour, but first we need to finish these drinks. We have quite a lot of drinks left. The Lizzie's drink back there, my drink, barely touched. Andres making a dent. We just finished brunch. I may have ordered a little bit too much brunch, but you live and learn. We're now on our way to the horse carriage tour. That was my tradition of myself. What was that? Every time I've told bus it passed, I'd wave at them. Hmm. Well, we booked our Uber. He is finishing off another drop, so we have a 15 minute wait. Can I see that? I and the problem is that we have to be with the, with the tour by 10 past at the latest, and it's now 11.53. So we're a little bit nervous, we might not be on time. If we, cross, if we, go, if we like walk that way, you can pick us up that way, and then we quicker, you know? Yeah, but then we have to change. I can change the pickup spot easily. Yeah. Okay. Eight minutes away. Should we take a, a pause on the bench? Oh. Okay, let's. Want, like, let's go down here, though, Lizzie. Okay. Is it going to be like every seconds? So this streets. Jones Street was one of the wealthiest streets in Savannah, and it's where they say in keeping up with the Joneses comes from. Huh. Guess what I thought Alex was the slowest walker in Savannah. Is it on a leash? No. What the f Oh my god, it's so cute. Is that his pet? So we are on our way I want a to... cold drink. You want a cold drink? I want a cold drink. <laughs> Alex wants a cold drink. We're going to We're get some going kind of nowhere. drink. I, I want to get a cold drink. Like a coffee or something. We're doing today's like a pub crawl and see the city kind of vibe. That's the that's Just. the moment we're going for. And so far I'm not disappointed. Lizzie, Savannah is okay. beautiful. So Nicholas. Yes. What are your thoughts on Savannah? Very nice. What is your favorite square in Savannah? This one. <laughs> this one? Yeah. 
Vegas is one of the most haunted houses in the country. So Nick, how many times do you think you've visited Savannah since you've left? Three times only. Oh, this is your third time only? No, I said three, so this will be four. This is your fourth time only? Yeah. Oh, wow. Do you know how many times I visited the place that I went to university? Every damn day. Alex got it right. Zero. I've literally never been back. I've gone once. I don't think I've been back to Hallway either. I have zero interest. You have zero interest to go back to Exeter? None. I don't think we updated you guys, but basically we were supposed to go on a horse-drawn carriage tour, but we couldn't get the Uber in time. So we ended up just walking instead, which I must say I'm not super pleased by. It's extremely hot. This is another location of the exact same restaurant where we just were, Collins Quarter. We have come into a tourist store to try and find Savannah banana t shirts, which we have found out for a child. Are these Christmas? Yeah, these are all kids' clothes. No. Yeah. That would easily fit me. No, this is not a kid shirt. I'm pretty sure it's a kid shirt. Okay. Looks like a kid's area to me. That's so you. Okay, let's get out of here. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Another Savannah place. Should we go in? That's good. Be a salty bitch. That's actually pretty good. Should we get? Should we get the t-shirt for today? And a t-shirt for tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Yes. Yeah. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. It'll be memorable. Yes. I mean, Today? it's on sale. That's cute because you could wrap it up. Ooh, let's get these. Let's all get one of these. That's a long sleeve though. I like it. It's pants. Ooh, they have, short, they have shirts here. Savannah, Georgia. It needs to be something light, guys. It can't be something heavy. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, so it was There's only two buttons. We are on our way to the second stop of the day, the rooftop bar. Which is up. Oh. South Carolina. Oh wow! That the that we came over? Oh, okay, so we and just finished wanna, our drink. Know, go to dive bar. Hey, and now nice we're gonna go find another bar with less of a view. Isn't he handsome? Isn't she handsome? Isn't, Isn't she handsome? Isn't he handsome? And now we're going. Alex, uh, what was the highlight of your trip? Yeah, what was your favorite part about the drink? <laughs> Why Are you possessed? Okay. Okay. Is she okay? Is she drunk? Once, Miami, Miami, go to a bar, the highest bar in Miami. Say that again. In Miami, when you go to Miami, you go to a bar called Sugar. It's the highest. Congratulations. Thank you. Master Dive. Oh, that's good. That's good. 
We're going to the dive bar? I love how Andres slowed down when he read the false advertising. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not for me, Clive. Who cares? We only live once. And this place, I would say, is quite cool. They've got a lot of Halloween deck. I'm into it. Lizzie is into it. Lizzie and I just stopped off at Savannah's toy store and we got some matching shirts. It's a Savannah Georgia. We just got to this place called Tubby's. We're here on the lookout. Hello. Hi. <laughs> oh, hey. So right now we're in Tubby's. Oh, yeah, didn't see you We're in Tubby's. And we're ordering drinks. We ordered some oysters. And we're going to just chill. And then we'll see where the night takes us. They have no coffee. They only have decaf coffee. True. Which is just hot coffee flavored water. <laughs> Do you have coffee? Oh, yeah, you have decaf. I just remember like, that we don't have like espresso or cappuccino. It's like, oh, we don't have anything that is caffeinated. We get your Coca Cola, boy. When you, when you go to the restrooms, like the building is actually really beautiful. The actual hotel is very historic building. Very cool. Do you think it's haunted? Probably. <laughs> So we went to a restaurant. So now we're trying to find the next spot. But the boys seem confused as to where we're going. We're about to go get ice cream. The line is long, but it doesn't look like unmanageable. I don't know, that looks really long to me. Okay, we just got to Leopold's ice cream. There is a line and a half. Here we are. Waiting in line. How long will it take? Only God knows. Andres, how do you feel about waiting in line? Uh, given that uh, I'm not really gonna have any ice cream, I'm okay. Nick? Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna have ice cream and I'm delighted. Because waiting will make it taste that much better. That's right, Liz. So should we go to that bump? I'll go. Good. Um, so what's the coldest you it's ever been here for you when you were sitting? I regret this. After waiting 35 minutes for ice cream, we finally got some. We sat on this park bench and enjoyed it. Lizzie ate it so quickly, we weren't able to get a shot of her having <laughs> just gotten it. Anything to add? What flavor did you get? I like peanut butter and honey nuts. Peanut Pistachio. butter? Pistachio? No. Anything to add? It was good. I don't know if it's worth the wait, but it was good. <laughs> I mean, these trees are just beautiful. Nice. Nice. We finished eating our ice cream. We're now going to walk 25 minutes back to the house. I'm exhausted. Wait, 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 Lizzie. Waiting on Lizzie. Guys, go without me. I'm enjoying my ice cream. My foot is still in the boot. How come you wear such short socks? I don't have bigger socks, do you? All right. Yeah. Are you saying that she shouldn't be showing her skin as a woman? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Good morning. <laughs> it is Sunday. And we just woke up. We unfortunately got some bad news about Granny first thing this morning, but we decided to carry on with our day, go out, have a little adventure. 
and try to be as positive as possible while still keeping Granny in our minds. We are planning to have breakfast this morning at the same place that we had yesterday, but at a different location. And we just went there and there's like a 15 minute wait. So we're currently walking through some squares, exploring the little city. And then we're gonna still go and do that tour, the carriage ride horse drawn tour. So we're excited for that as well. And yeah, we're hoping to have a lovely Sunday. It's our last day here in Savannah. Anything to add? It's our last full day in Savannah. Yeah. Andres, anything to add? The um, native that really helped the British in a friendly way, they buried him here. Interesting. We just ordered the brunch and I was going to order a Bloody Mary, but I found out that they don't serve alcohol until 11. I think it's a Savannah thing, or that's what Nick says. Anything to add? Nick, you wanna give the update? Uh, yeah, so we just finished having brunch and now we are off brunch, now we're off to the air, the brun to <laughs> drop off our stuff and get ready for our tour in the first carriage. <laughs> <laughs> So we got her Uber back to the apartment and we got out of the car and they said, hey, do you guys want to see where I used to live? And the answer to that question was, hell yeah, we do. And that's where we're going now. So where Nick spent his days as a young man at university. So Nick, did you live here for the whole four years or was this just... Nick, you should send a picture to Kat. Do you want a picture? Mm. Yeah, let's get a picture now. Just go sit on the door. Right next door to this little peach color building there. Mm -hmm. That's the ice cream shop. We went there yesterday. We went there yesterday. Did you guys wait in the super long line? Yeah. yeah. How long yeah. did you guys wait? 35 minutes. 30 minutes, yeah. 30, 30 minutes. Oh, that's not, usually it's about yeah. 45 minutes. Yeah. It was that. awful. What did you think on this? I think it was it was good. I mean, it's good to get some facts. I wish we could have done it at the at the start. At the start, yeah. You know? But hey ho, as hey your mom would say. <laughs> what did you think? It was fun. I was a little bit nervous about the horse a few times. <laughs> really? The, the horse kept turning around and giving us like beady eyes, and I thought, <laughs> I wonder if the horse is happy. That's funny. I don't, I'm sure that I'm sure the horse was happy. So horse, I was worried about the horse very, in the beginning. I was thinking, oh my god, this poor horse is in the sun. He's dragging us heavy larses around. Horses have better yeah, life than right. When we stopped for a long period of time, the horse had a big trough of water to drink from. Oh, that's, I didn't that's realize why we that. Stopped, yeah. No, I thought we were just chilling. No. Okay. Well, I thought it was nice. I thought it was perfectly timed. It wasn't too short. It wasn't too long. I, I just think like it's a bit overpriced for how much was for it? What it was. For what it was. Yeah, they tried to get a private. 
It was like two hundred dollars. No, it was two hundred dollars. Well, including any tip. Plus two hundred dollars tip. Yeah. Nah, that was worth it. You only live once. just finished here at the rooftop bar called Churchill's. We had a wonderful time. We spent about $300 on... No, no, no. Let me tell you the real story. <laughs> so we're cracking by. I see a sign that says $5 Bloody Marys. I'm like, oh my God, this place has $5 Bloody Marys. Halfway through, I stop the waiter. I'm like, hold on, let me just double check. These are $5 each, right? He says, yes. <laughs> All they me at the end. Like, Houdini, that the first six we had were $10 each. Basically, until Lizzie asked that question, we it were having $10. Twice as much. We're having $10 Bloody Mary. Grayson, Lizzie was you know not impressed. Are. Lizzie was not impressed when the bill came. So, anyways, we are now on our way to the original destination, Zanzibar's. Nick, what's the place called? Zoomzies. Zoomzibar. Alex is limping. We're living our best life. Hashtag YOLO. YOLO! What are you all in 2012? <laughs> Hashtag YOLO. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hashtag, is there anything more original? Yeah. Like, then what? Then YOLO? No, there's nothing. Like, the people behind us are like, really? YOLO. They for sure are. No, for sure, not. for no sure. No. They're judging us. <laughs> I'm too afraid to look. But my camera is looking. Turn around and ask them if they're fun time. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. What was your favorite part? Was that game we played? Oh yeah, it was. Who's 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 most likely? What's yeah. it called? <laughs> most wow. likely to. Most likely to. Do you realize that I'm like the rebel of the family? Yeah. Everyone's like Mario Shippo. You. Who knew that I am the Except rebel of the family? Except the bartender thought I'd Mario Shippo for some reason. Who did? The bartender. <laughs> George. He, Georgie. He clearly doesn't by. know you very well. All day affair. We have finally made it to Zanzi's. Zanzi's. I mean Zanzi's. Yeah, let's look at the same way. We can just go on to the table. They can just bring it. Oh, amazing. Okay, good. Should we go there? Yeah, let's go. Do you have that? Smell. Do, 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 with your lips. It's like white but lips. Have a dubs? With your lips? Makes sense. Who ordered what? I ordered the flowers. What's this? Is this someone's? No, I know. It's really? Oh, shit. What are the lips? What are you order? I did. You know what, huh? She's trying this for me. Where's your knife on for? Do we know anything? About what? This is for sure mine. Do we know anything? What's that? Excellent question. That's mine. It's ours. What do you guys need? It's Monday morning. Our trip has sadly come to an end. 
and we're all getting ready. It's currently 6.45 in the morning. We're getting ready to hop in the car and start the seven hour drive back to Miami. Well done, Andres. Update the people. Like a glove. <laughs> you want to tell us what happened this morning, Nick? Yep, I walked into the side of the bed, cracked my phone screen. All we want, Apple, is an uncrackable phone screen. Is that so much to ask? Thank you.